Yeah. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland. Hello and welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland from here at the Ball Dump in Fife. Bit of an unexpected dig today, I didn't expect to be here. The weather said it was going to be terrible but it's just a little bit windy. But I've got my little umbrella up and everything for you which is why I'm down here in the den. Let's hope it doesn't pour with rain later because it might do but we'll see. And if so, I'll get wet. You probably know what's coming by now. Let's get dirty. Nice fields ink and gum. Aqua glass, drippy lippy, nice age to it. This is an older part of the tip here, so there's not as much fresh here, but when you find it, which I just have, it's always a happy event. And this is a lovely little bottle. It's got a slightly longer neck than they usually do, and they're normally damaged at the top, which this one isn't. So that's a nice wee bottle, that's a good start and encouraging. Actually, I had this as well on the first chuck out. I don't know if it's just like a little ink well for a desk, a tiny little one. Not sure, maybe for a child or something, but uh, yeah, let's go digging. I just sent this flying. <laughs> it's plain, I think. Trippy lippy though, I think. Is it? Actually, maybe it's machine made. I'm not sure about this one. But anyway, it's a nice bottle. Let's keep going. Just had this glass viral. An older one without a screw top. There we are. And these are popular on Etsy, so I'll probably put that on there. Especially in this size, the slightly smaller size. Lovely things. Great for putting things like flowers in, little vases, lovely. I'm sure someone will love that. Check this out. What a chunky inkwell. Must be cut glass. Yeah. That's amazing. I don't think I've seen one like this before. A little bit of damage in the bottom corner there. See that? But if you're displaying that way, there's my. That's lovely. It's really hefty as well. So cool. Actually. No way. <laughs> I just realised that must be what that was for. That's where they put the ink. There probably would have been some sort of copper or copper alloy collar on here and then that would have fitted in there. That's so cool, just found the whole thing then. Amazing. Just had this lovely little leave-in pictorial. Adamson's. Seems to be in good order. Can't see any chips or cracks at the minute. Looks to be good. So yeah, got lots of these now, so I'll probably stick that on Etsy as well. Look out for it. Just found this. Very nice. Stamped quite high up on it as well. Unusual. Normally they're right at the very bottom. Seems to be in good order. Nothing printed on or anything, but I think that's actually a thumbprint there from the potter that made it. Lovely little size, this. Yeah, I love these. I love stone anyway, but these are just particularly beautiful little things, I think. Anyway, yeah, let's see if we can find another one. This, I think it's plain amber. No ash. <laughs> yeah, it's plain. Doesn't say anything on the bottom either. Still, it's a nice little ball. That cool. Let's keep going. Just had this ginger jar. I haven't had one of these for a while. 
absolutely love these absolutely love them they're great very cool find i've got a few of these now actually i gave some to sarah's brother so if you're watching out there rob i got my ginger jar back <laughs> sharing the joy folks uh, full of ash as usual that's an absolute belter love that underneath the soil or buried in the ground there's a lot of treasure to be found dirty secrets dirty secrets of scotland poison bottles belt buckles ginger beers enamel signs hammer coins and hamiltons are some of the things you might find if you're lucky just like this I think it's plain. It's got some sort of gunge inside it. So I think that's just a messy, drippy lippy at the top there. Um, yeah, it's a really, really nice colour. It's like deep aqua bluish. Beautiful. I think that'll clean up really well. Happy with that. Just like this. I think this is going to be plain but you never know these are usually amber these bottles so it's nice to find a green one now and again very cool nice top on it all right just had to move you over a little bit because the wind changed direction as it likes to do here <laughs> just found this lovely probably i love it and love it that's the second one now love finding these they're great cool little things Seems to be in very good order. No chips, no damage, no cracks. Let's see if it sounds true. Perfect. Lovely. That's two now. Here I am. I'm just touching the bottom now. I've just had to move the den because the wind changed direction. So that should protect you. You shouldn't be hearing any wind noise now, hopefully. And that's what I found so far. Let's keep digging. Just had this, it's a Vino's cough cure, but is it the lightning one? No, it's Vino's for coughs and colds. So I think that's the later one. Um, it used to say lightning cough cure, but I guess they changed their name because their bottles didn't have lightning in them and it was false advertising. Anyway, yeah, cool, let's keep going. Just had this little heartbreaker. We just said Paris, I guess, at the bottom there. Would have been a nice wee pictorial printed lid, I think. That's a shame. I wonder if the rest of it's still in there. If it is, I could fix it, but well, we'll see. Just had this. Just one of these little, I guess, small marmalade pots or cosmetic jars. Nice. Let's keep looking. Okay, I've got a riddle for you. You got a box, you keep putting things in the box and the more things you put in the box, the lighter the box gets. At all times, the box is empty. What are the things that you're putting into the box? If you know the answer, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Just had this. I haven't had one of these for ages. It's a Jay's fluid bottle, it's a poison bottle. In amber, a nice bottle. With the ribs and uh, bottled by Jay's. Yeah, that's a lovely bottle, that. Definitely a keeper. Just had this. Lovely little flat-bottomed Hamilton. Beautiful little bottle. I'm not sure if I've found one this small before. I think this might be the smallest one I've ever found. That's so cool. The Royal Insignia on the front, the Unicorn on the line, Schweppes. Lovely, really happy with that. It's really quite strange at the minute. The wind has really gone quiet, calmed down. It was getting really, really strong, which is why I had to move the umbrella. And I think it is going to pick up again, but we've got just a little bit of a quiet spell, which is really quite nice, actually. 
Um, it is meant to rain later, so we'll see if it does or not. I don't know. Prepared anyway. I've got my waterproof, got my umbrella. It's fine. Just this little piece of piece is uh, it's just quite nice. Lunchtime roundup. Now what have we got? Just this little amber bottle. A few little balls here. That's a uh, medicine, but it's plain. It's just a plain sauce bottle. This is a big drippy lippy wine, but it's really quite nice because it's got quite a sort of ombre of colour that runs through it from very dark green at the bottom to very light at the top. I like that. Got a couple of furniture creams or polish here. Plain ones. Still haven't found another one that's got print on it that Sarah found. Probably one of the best finds here <laughs> ever. Anyway, uh, Jay's Fluid. Very nice amber poison bottle. This really cool um, inkwell that came in two parts separately, which was quite a good find. Always a bovro. Just this wee pot here. Plain green bottle. Lovely little pouring ink. And it's twin. Both stamped. I think they're different companies though. Got the viral here, the glass viral. Also got the Vino's cough cure. This plain ball that came out at the start. Found the swing top for the leaving ball. This beautiful Schweppes bottle, flat bombed Hamilton, very small size. Really like that. That's super cool. The heartbreak lid. Haven't found the other half yet. Don't know if I will. And then of course the leaving bottle that fits that stopper. And then this is probably my favourite find so far. This. I'll bring it out into the light a bit more. This beautiful ginger jar with the blue striping. That's a real belter, I love that. So fingers crossed for more finds in the second half. Just had this lovely big Rosie's bottle. Always a very welcome find these. Really nice, drippy lippy, striations in the neck. I'll never complain about finding these, they're beautiful bottles. Really nice, and these limes on here, that's what they're meant to be, limes and leaves. Really, really beautiful bottle. Very happy with that indeed. Just had this. I thought it was just a plain little ink. Um, but it's a slightly different shape and style. I think it is a drippy lippy. But it's kind of, it's like a very light ice blue and it says something underneath as well. What does that say? Can't read it in this light, but it says made in the USA at the bottom. So that's a cotton reel inkwell from the USA. Don't think I've had one of those before. I'll take it. It's the history bit. Carter's Ink Company was once the largest manufacturer of ink in the world, founded by William Carter in 1858 in Boston, Massachusetts. William Carter, in order to supplement his paper sales, started repackaging other companies' inks and selling them under his own name. In 1860, William Carter's brother, Edward Carter, joined the company and the firm became known as William Carter and Brother. The Civil War disrupted Carter's primary ink supplier, so William Carter started making his own inks, which necessitated the move to a larger building. Unfortunately, the new building and others were destroyed the night of November the 9th, 1872, in what has been called the Great Boston Fire. After the fire, John W. Carter teamed up with James P. Dinsmore to start a new firm known as Carter, Dinsmore and Company. James P. Dinsmore retired in 1888 and John W. Carter drowned in 1895, which created a crisis in the unincorporated business. This led to its incorporation later that year as the Carter's Inc. Company. In 1909, a new factory was built in Cambridge and occupied in 1910. The building's huge, Carter's Inks electric sign faced the Charles River and was a landmark for many years. In the mid-1920s when fountain pens were a popular luxury item, Carter began its own range of pens. The line was discontinued in the early 1930s but they're still fondly remembered and sought after by collectors now. Fast forward a little while and Francis J. Hon invented the highlighting marker as Vice President of Technology at Carter's in 1963. In 1975, the company was sold to Denison Manufacturing Company. The Carter's Inc. building in Cambridge still stands and is currently occupied by the Forsyth Institute, one of the leading centres for dental and craniofacial research in the world. It's affiliated to the Harvard School of Dental Medicine. 
just had this jar. Very nice. See all the bubbles in there. I thought it was a plain sauce when I saw the ribbon at the bottom, but it's not. It's a really thick glass jar. Full of bubbles. That's a really pretty jar. What does it say on the bottom there? J J E 16. J E 16. Really nice. Okay, let's keep going. Just had this. It's an aqua glass bow tank. Called bow ink because I meant to resemble a boat. Anyway. Looks in good order. I don't think I've had an aqua glass boat ink off this tip at all. They're not that common here. Actually the blue ones are more common here in Scotland. Don't know why. But that one it seems to be in good order, so I'm happy with that. That's a really lovely little find. And I'll go in with the rest of the collection. Just like this. DNT Duncan, Wine Merchants, 25 Socky Hall Street, Glasgow. That would have been lovely to find that hole. Unfortunately, this is all that's left of it. Well, look at that. 330, I don't know what that meant. 330, DNT Duncan, Wine Merchants, Socky Hall Street, Glasgow. I can look into them. Cool. Found another piece of this big crock pot. The label there says Port Dundas, Glasgow Pottery. Company, Port Dundas. I think I might have featured them before, you know. It's just the very tail end of the Duncan there as well, so that confirms it was Duncan, but it was obviously Duncan. That's a bit too far gone, even for me to repair, I reckon. Just had this lovely little green inkwell. Maybe quite illuminated because I've got the head torch on. It's really dark now, clouds have come right over. So, yeah, digging in the dark. Nice, like that. Really beautiful colour, thick base, uneven glass, wonky, everything cool, lovely. Just found this. It's quite busy, yeah? A couple of women here, one in yellow, one in pink with the looks of things. Another woman up here. I think that's a baby. Um, They've got Roman style sandals on, so perhaps it's a Roman scene. Not one that I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, that's cool, eh? <laughs> it's a shame it's not all. Amazing. Just had this, and I know what this is. It's OT Chili Cordial. Had these before. Can't tell if this is a drippy lippy or not. I think I actually know. I think this is a machine made one. So it's slightly later than the one that I had last time. Um, very similar design. But yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, back in the day they used to drink cordial with chili in it. <laughs> chili cordial, mmm, delicious. Just had this and Zora Quack Cure. I've had these before. This is a clear glass one. Um, not as desirable as one that would be aqua glass, but still, nice quack cure there. Just had this. I'm not sure if it's just a little salt cellar. It's got a screw top. It looks like it's cut glass though, that's really sharp. If it was mold blown it wouldn't be that sharp. The edges wouldn't be that sharp. Yeah, it looks like a cut glass little thing, it's cool. The spongeware, different this time. Never seen this pattern. It's like ferns and then a flower down there as well. So I'll keep that for kit and caboodles. I've been saving this up for ages now. I do need to send it to them at some point. Just had this, it's a screw top, but it says Crucian salts on there, which I've not seen before. That's pretty cool. Crucian salts. I wonder what the story is there. Nice. I've got what looks to be a Lysol or something similar down here. I can see some ribbing. Let's dig it out carefully. I hope it's whole. Right on the bottom there, you see the sand. Yeah. 
What a beauty, you can't see the colour of this. You know what? It's a greenie. Amazing, let's get it out. You may already know that Lysols are generally amber in colour. Now this one is green, I don't know if it's damaged or not. Can't see what that says. Boots. All British. Boots. It's a boot slice all then. Boots the chemist. Oh, this is really beautiful. This could be my favourite Lysol so far, you know. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Look at it. I've never seen one like this actually. Boots all British. That is beautiful. Let me see if that's drippy. How? Yes, it's a drippy lippy, so that makes it old. It's got good age. What does it say under there? Registered number. That really is an absolute belter. I am so thrilled with this. That is amazing. Check this little belter out. Absolutely stunning. It's got sort of diamonds on it. The pattern is diamonds. It's bright green. It's like electric green. This is definitely my favourite Lysol so far. It even says Lysol on it, but it says Boots All British. So it's a British Boots the Chemist Lysol. Absolute belter. Just had this lovely wee pork pie. I love finding these great little things. Some of them are actually stamped, but this one isn't because it's just plain, but still a really beautiful little thing. I'm very happy to find them. And that probably will be the last find of the day. As I said, that's going to be the last find of the day because ironically, there's a massive storm coming in and the finds have dried up so I don't really want to get soaked for finding nothing right now so I'm going to fill in before the storm gets here but first of all, let's do our full time roundup full time roundup okay, this is the first round so you've seen all this already some lovely finds there moving on to the second round this is what we've got here we've got the Anzora bottle this beautiful Rosie's bottle I think that's just a little perfume and a wee bottle for Sarah. This American ink, which is pretty cool. I think it's his Carter's actually on the base there. The wee pork pie ink that I just found. Lovely bubbly jar. This uh, spongeware for kitten caboodlers. This is a Lee and Perns bottle, sauce bottle. Lovely little boat ink, pleased with that. That's a nice find. This little salt shaker thing. This lovely green ink, this crazy scene, I think it's a Roman scene. The OT sauce, the Heartbreak uh, Glasgow flagon, d and Duncan, wine merchants, plain jar, and over to Belter Alley. Well, Belter Alley today has two items, this beautiful ginger jar, love finding these, such beautiful items. But my favourite bell of the day by far is this. Green Lysol. All British made, it says Boots. Lysol there with the uh, diamond decoration. I'll have to check and see if this is quite rare because I've certainly not seen one before. Lovely bottle. And that is the full time roundup. Thanks for joining me on Dairy Secrets of Scotland. 
I'm getting out of here before the storm gets me. You can probably hear that, it's pretty wild up in the trees. There's a line of pine trees over there and it's quite dense and that stops most of the wind getting through. But I've still got you behind the umbrella and you can probably still hear it whistling through. It's getting worse and worse and the rain is due any minute soon. So I'm gonna go home, it's Sunday, I'm gonna have a bath, I'm gonna have a beer and a chill out. And uh, thanks for joining me. See you next time. All filled in. Just in time for that storm to come in. I'm out of here, folks. Well, these rainy day creations. Here we have this lovely Stranraer cream pot. One more for the Dirty Secrets of Scotland Bottle Hospital. Little ding out of it there. The next casualty. Yeah, so let's have a look at this. Fill it, paint it, glaze it, and uh, hopefully make it look as good as new. Let's get on. Okay, I've mixed the millip up. Time to sculpt. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's all proud as it always has to be. Um, obviously I'll sand that back, but if you don't have it proud, you end up with little lines where the um, the join is between the millipat and the original clay. So yeah, happy with that. I'll leave it now overnight and I'll pick it up tomorrow and sand it back. Okay, it's the next day. This needs sanding back. First up, 100 grit. Let's get going. shiny there with the thousand grit sandpaper. Now time to paint it. So let's do that. These are the colours that I think I'll need to match this but as usual I do it in the light. I have to step over to the window to mix it and I'll come back when I've done it. Okay I'm pretty happy with this colour so let's apply it. I'm happy with the colour match. I'm just going to blend it in with a sponge now, it's just a makeup sponge. Okay, so that's it painted. Time for a quick glaze, and that'll do it. Okay, all done. I'm pretty happy with that. You'd have to really look for it if you wanted to notice that. And if you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't notice it, I don't think. So I'm chuffed, that's the idea. This pot will be available on Etsy now, so if you want it, you better go and get it quickly. <laughs> If you want to help this channel grow and join us on new and exciting adventures every week, we do need your support. Every single contribution makes a difference, is hugely appreciated and ensures the future of this channel. To show your support, please do so in the following ways. 
You can buy us a coffee over on Kofi. You can buy the treasures that we dig out the Scottish soil and also the items that we craft and create over on Etsy. And to become a patron of Dirty Secrets of Scotland and make a monthly contribution to the amount of your choice, you can do so over on Patreon.com. We love making these videos for you guys. Thanks so much to our patrons and everyone that helps in making them a possibility. Finally, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It's free and it helps the channel. Here's to the next adventure. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland. I'm gonna have to move because I think I'm kneeling on something sharp. Ow, 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 ow! You, naughty. Look at that. Oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's try that again. Check this out. I've just done it again. Last time. Look at that, isn't that stunning? Green. Oh, it's done it again, man! Right, I'm gonna to have to do something else. Hang on. <laughs>